want to show you guys a few things that I've been working on as of lately. You should know by now that I'm a woodworker and this is basically what I do to make my living. This is a commission piece and the customer has given me basically um, the dimensions that they require and then I've designed this piece around that. One of the features that I think is pretty cool is the inward splay on the legs. You know, generally, most of the times you see that the legs are splayed outwards, which still looks pretty cool. But for the writing desk, I thought that I was trying to make it seem as the desk was cradling the person in who was working at it. And not only is the wood walnut, but we have some crotch walnut panels on either side of the drawer face. The, um, the phone really isn't doing a good job, and I tell you, these panels are just shimmering. There's multiple colors and an incredible shimmer. If anybody's ever seen finely finished crotch uh, walnut, then you know what I'm talking about. And then we have the tiger maple that you see this like luminescence or iridescence that is shooting through the maple board kind of like tiger stripes and as you change positions in the room so too do the tiger stripes and if you notice that the leg itself has the grain of the wood is running the same shape of the curve of the leg and i purposely chose boards that had that fair curve that could match the curve in the leg which really is what gives the piece um, a lot of nice consistency, you know? And all of this, all of this lumber was milled from rough stock. Basically what you're looking at right here, some super rough and rugged wood that are from trees that were harvested um, during some of these hurricanes that we've had on the east coast what you're looking at is a piece of walnut here anyway i'll kind of come up here and show you guys the top and uh the grain for the top of this thing really turned out really nice these are multiple boards that were glued together i think it's four boards and I got a really good consistency to where you can only see one faint glue line basically right there where that dark swash is but I unified the grain where it was curving into each other I've got a curve here that I placed from one board and then the other board with a curve to where they joined it together at the glue line which kind of makes it look like it's one board in that position so anyway, I'll pull back a little bit. You can almost see that there's some uh, some blue, some copper tones, of course, uh, a lot of amber, a lot of nutty tones. I really love walnut. It's one of my most favorite woods. Uh, what we have here is the organizer, the top drawer bank for the desk, and you can see the quality here of the tiger maple and then of course the beautiful clarity of the walnut here and there was no steam bending or any sort of uh, unusual techniques to get this walnut to bend just a little ingenuity and I was able to basically cut a channel route a channel in the center underneath that darker board and then was able to flex and glue it along the top of there that's how that was achieved some beautiful figure in the walnut itself that is actually having some iridescence that you would probably just simply call tiger walnut. And the, the pull-out drawer system here, I'll kind of show you how this, this works out. The drawers are actually not truly sitting on the table there's that faint dark line they're actually suspended on felt pads 
So when you pull the drawer out, the drawer is actually meant to come out of the hole and slide across the table. And if you look here, you'll see the little felt inserts that are actually put into a recessed hole here. And then, of course, it stops the friction from marring the top of the table. So then you can also see that I route these little felt runner inserts on either side so that when you put the drawer back in the hole, it's a snug fit. It just snugs right on in there, super nice. So coming along here to the front view for what you would see, and then coming here to the lower drawer, I'll show you an interesting feature. The drawer pulls out and then it hits a stop point. You can't see it, but in all actuality, it's a switch. And you flip the switch and then the drawer pulls out further and reveals a hidden compartment. If you have like a babysitter or whoever, you know, people that you don't necessarily know too well that frequent your home, this is a good way to protect certain things or even in a way maybe if you want to put your birth certificates back there, something that's important to you, whatever it is, you can secure it without people knowing where it is. And then you just simply flip the switch back. And then the drawer itself is actually also has a, uh, a system of unique runners that is using recycled carpet that is squeezing the drawer box on either side that makes it smooth as we pull it in and out. It's actually being compressed by like what we've got with the felt runners up top, but instead it's just carpet. Battery's getting low. I'm gonna stop the video short there. There's a, a good view of that uh, crotch walnut, just absolutely beautiful. And I hope that you enjoy the piece. It was definitely awesome to work on. And there's a poor view of the vanity that I was showing you guys. It's been completed, but this is definitely the wrong view to try to, to get a shot at it. Nonetheless, um, thank you guys. I hope you enjoy.